Here we are. I'm in space, and you, as you can see, you can see your, our planet Earth. The, but besides, you probably know that there's eight planets in our solar system. Not only Earth, but there is others. They, they are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And, and you may think, that's it. Are you going to stop the video? Well, no. Because there actually is more than just, than just eight planets. There are... Pluto, Haumea, Maki Maki, Eris, and Sedna. But I'm only going to be talking about Pluto, Haumea, Maki Maki, and Eris. I'm not going to be talking about Sedna. That's going to be for a different video. Anyways, we're going to talk about Pluto first. Pluto, being discovered in 1930 by Clyde Tombak. Pluto is the most famous of the four or five. It's because Pluto has five moons. Despite Pluto being a small ice planet, smaller than even our own planet, it has five moons. The most interesting one is Charon. Charon is Pluto's largest moon. It's half the size of Pluto, meaning that both that both worlds orbit each other in a very center, which is very odd. Also considering Charon as another planet, because they both orbit each other. Wait, the other four is what I'm also going to be talking about. There's not really that much, um... Well, I would put this in, like, there's nothing really interesting about these moons. This is Hydra. Hydra is either the second or third largest moon of Pluto. But still, it's dwarfed in comparison to Charon. You could see by... By the bottom is Charon, and then the rest of them are like the other moons. What I can find interesting about Hydra is that its shape resembles the letter H in the alphabet. See for yourself. This is Nyx. It's either the second or third largest moon of Pluto. It's also dwarfed in comparison to Charon. There's nothing really I um, would think that is interesting about it, is that, but it has a red spot on it, similar like Charon. Anyways, next. The other two moons are actually not really that interesting, so let's move on to Haumea. This is Haumea. It's an egg-shaped dwarf planet, and there also was rings discovered around it, which I will talk about. It also has two moons named Namaka and Hayaka. Hayaka being the largest. Namaka is the smallest. They're both pretty small. Sharon's bigger than them. And they both are named after the Hawaiian goddess Taumea's children, two of them, two of the many children of Haumea, the goddess of fertility and childbirth. Next, Maki Maki. It's another one of the dwarf planets, it being one of the third smallest and possesses a moon, which also, this planet is red in color, which is kind of strange. Anyways, its moon is named S2015 M1, which is nicknamed MK2. Nothing is really said about it. It's not, there's nothing interesting, despite it sound, but the only thing is that it sounds really crazy. Just listen to the electromagnetic recordings.
Is it just me, or does it sound like somebody lost at a Fortnite match? Because that's what I hear. Now, here's the last war fight I'm, I'm talking about. This is Eris. This, fun fact, this is one of the main reasons, this planet is one of the main reasons why Pluto got demoted into a dwarf and became a dwarf planet. Well, you can thank Ma the planet Maki Maki. But anyway, Eris is, was originally going to be named Xena after a popular uh, rock star character, I believe, from the early 2000s. But since it was since it was one of the reasons why Pluto was demoted, it was changed its, its name changed to Eris after the the Roman goddess of after the Roman goddess or or Greek god Greek goddess of discord and strife, which is basically the goddess of chaos. It also has one moon named Dysnomia, and Dysnomia is Eris's only moon. And it's been the only moon discovered around it. There may be more, but this is just the only one. But it's unique to be actually round. And it does have a few craters, too. Just like its parent, Eris. So, yeah. That's all I need to say about Dysnomia and Eris. So that's all I have to say on my astronomy chip. This is the first ever astronomy video I've ever made. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Be make sure you hit the, the like button, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below of what dwarf planet amazes you the most. Do you think I should continue on my astronomy route? Or do you think I should stop? Let me know in the comments. And I would love to continue with my series. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Bye. Stay safe.